So people, I am back with another Outriders video and today I showcased you this great uh, farm for legendaries, epics, titanium, high level loot XP, world tier XP, the works. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this was showcased to me by my pal Silent Wraith, aka Jacob, aka Toaster, aka Scummy Scumbag. Uh, but what it is, it's basically a mission a lot of you will have probably progressed past by now. But if you haven't anyway, keep it in mind for when you eventually get here. But it's a mission where you go and hunt a monster. It's a guaranteed couple of epics from this actual boss you can get legendaries drop you can get all sorts but at least guaranteed two epics a ton of titanium xp and much more now obviously you want to be on your highest world tier um, and obviously you want your armor and weapons to be around that of what the enemies uh, will be and as you know obviously depending on the world tier you're playing on the enemies levels scale uh, and world tier 8 you say plus 5 7 is a plus 4 6 is a plus 3 so just make sure your weapons and armor around the point of the enemies otherwise you're going to struggle obviously so you want to go to the forest enclave so if you've gone past this part come back if you haven't got to this part yet keep this in mind so once you are here you want to get to the story point of pursue skurlock so yes if you're literally just got here or you're not here yet once you get here and get past this do not worry because you can come back to this at any time and repeat, repeat it over and over that's completely fine it doesn't matter and what it is, it consists of a side quest where you go and hunt a mission for a lady. And the the, uh, the side quest is repeatable, meaning you don't have to um, load out and load back in. You literally just cash it in, go straight back in, cash it, go back to the woman, cash. It's crazy. It's crazy, people. You'll see, you'll see. Now, I've already got the quest active, as you can see up there, top left. Uh, but if you haven't, you want to come to this flag and this is where you go to get it. Go here, which is a crystal camp load in but what i've done was actually i started farming this and i'll showcase this to you now i started farming this a level below the enemies i had one on par uh gear piece which was this weapon right here everything else i was doing was a level 25 and all these level 26s guys i've literally got over the past two or three runs from just doing this and a ton you get a ton of titanium too you get a ton of titanium too but like I said, you do want to make sure your armors are at least near them what that the enemy will be. Me playing on the world tier 8, a level 21, the enemies are going to be a level 26, obviously. But like I said, I started doing this where everything was a level 25 besides my one weapon here. So uh, once you load into this uh, place, you want to come this way. And you see the woman is at the top of this hill. Now, I've already got the quest active, so I can't pick it back up. But you speak to her and you'll get it. You'll pick it up from her. And you'll see, you just follow where it tells you to go, but it's relatively straightforward. Like I said, it is a three part um, mission. So there's two mini bosses and a main boss, all drop that loot, all drop that juicy loot, people. A lot of titanium, rares, epics, even legendaries too. And once you complete the quest, you go back to the lady, and you have a chance of a epic or legendary drop there too. Otherwise you may get a red, I'm not gonna lie. Me being on a world tier eight, it's relatively low right now considering the world tiers and the loot increase chances you get at high world uh, tiers so yes initially you start here you got a few ads to take out which are straightforward the only guys you want to worry about really are the guys that spit poison these can be a pain in the ass but other than that it's not too hard it's not too hard at all there we go couple more hey where are you running to mate where are you in two, mate? Come on in. One more. There we go. Then we progress on. Oh, no, we don't. There's more ads now. There's more ads now. Yeah. Then we progress around this corner. We progress on. Around this corner. We progress on. Now, I could have just showed you quick highlights of this um, to make it seem easier than actually it is. I want to do it with you guys so you can see just how straightforward it is. I mean, it, it isn't super simple. There's a little bit of a challenge here, but it's still easy enough for you to farm over and over. There's no two which ways about it, in my opinion. I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing through it. I just want to showcase to you guys what you do and what you don't do. Now, there's a mini bus that comes out of the waterfall. Use your abilities. Avoid these uh, attacks. And you should be fine. It's nothing, nothing too difficult, guys. At all. 
like I said, you'll see his attacks. They're powerful, but they're going to kill you one hit, so you can be a little cautious with it, but you shouldn't have too much of a problem with him. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, the pain in the arse are them guys right there. The guys that spit poison. I just hate them. I hate them. I hate them and I hate those flying, annoying, ugly ass butterfly looking things. Those are what I hate. Those are what I hate. Now, he dropped me a little titanium there, but um, to be honest, they're a bit stingy. They are a bit stingy. The mini buses are a bit stingy. One instance I have had eight titanium drop from one, but that's a, that's a rare instance, guys. That's a rare instance, guys. Let's not lie to ourselves here. Forgot about you guys. <laughs> I forgot about you guys, how's it going, huh? And what you's like gonna do? You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. What about that? I'll take you all out with one slap. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna let my. Oh, it don't really matter. It don't really matter. Over here is the second mini boss. I was gonna say I'm gonna let my abilities charge, but. Just, just get, get, get it over with. I mean, you can take your time until you're used to it, guys. But um, you should be good. It should be good. The only thing you want to worry about here is the amount of ads uh, that are here. So you don't want to be enticed into that small area in front of me right there because you're probably just going to get swamped from every angle, which is what you don't want. But yeah, other than that, it's relatively straightforward. The bus will sometimes charge at you. Other times it will stay back. If it stays back, you can kind of head glitch over that peak right there where it just was. Otherwise, you can just take him out like this. It's, it's not hard, guys. It's not hard, guys. If anything, I'm probably making it look harder than it actually is. <laughs> I'm probably making it look harder than it actually is. So we're done there. And next up, we have the final, the final boss of this. The final boss of this. This guy is obviously a little harder than the mini bosses. That's not lied to ourselves. He's bound to be. But you can use this tree right in front of me here to kind of like bug him out slightly so you can get three shots on him. You'll see him now. He's a bit of a big dude. It's a bit of a big dude, but that's good. That's fine. That's fair enough. So when he jumps out, you just dodge out of the way. This is a tree I use. I like try and pull him around. And he eventually just kind of gets stuck in place. The only thing you need to worry about is the ads he calls in. Because they will spit poison at you and all that annoying shit. There you go. There's one. And the other ones are there. He will... He will... Uh, Calling a few others too. But other than that, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, like I said, you can get him stuck in that place. You have to get used to this though. You have to get used to doing that. But you can get him stuck in that place. But yeah, it's, it's not too bad, guys. Like I said, I'm probably making it look harder than it actually is. And notifications. Probably from people can fly saying the servers are gone down again. You can slap the floor you like, mate. It ain't going to help you. It really ain't going to help you. It really ain't going to help you. It really just ain't. You can slap the floor. Get mad. It don't matter. It don't matter. See, like I said, it's it's straightforward, guys. It's dropping me tons of loot. It's what we like to see. And you get actually the, the World Tier 8 pop-up then. I've got quite a chunk of that. And we got some. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Look at the titanium, guys. See that titanium then? See that titanium, man? Absolutely craziness. So then what you do is go back here. Fast travel back to this camp. <clears throat> and go and speak to that lady again. Go and speak to the lady. Did I take the right way? I think I did. Yep. Go speak to this lady. And she, you can skip it all. You get loot straight into your inventory. Sometimes it pops up on your screen. Sometimes it don't. I got a blue there. And then all you do, guys, is just pick it back up. <laughs> you pick it back up, rinse and repeat, go back through it. Get tons of titanium, epics guaranteed, leather, high loot. What do we get here, though? I don't think it's going to be as good as my baby here. Uh, no, it wasn't, but it's still, it's still, it's still not bad. It's still not bad. To be honest, I probably want more better armors, but yeah, I'm just going to keep going. Just to farm. Oh, okay. So I did get some higher. I did get some quite a lot higher. So is that a level 25 still? No, it's a level 26. Look at the difference, guys. It's almost a thousand higher. So yeah, it's a quick way, quick method 
in earning that juicy loot you'll get tons of materials as well guys tons of epic which if you dismantle you know what you get that titanium too for instance people for instance let me show you and get rid of all these because we don't need them no more we don't need them no more and i got a load of weapons i need to get rid of too but i'll go through them so i'll just get rid of them there we go a little chunk of titanium not bad not bad at all but yes guys that is it that is it so yes uh, like i said once you get to this place you can farm this if you want if you've gone past it come back farm it if you want earn easy titanium easy epics the chance of a legendary too and enjoy guys if you did leaving a like really helps uh, if you're new around here and want to see more outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and hopefully i will see you on that next one